Good day, traders. Edge with High Tech Trading Analysis. Um, Want to sit and talk a little about tabs in NinjaTrader 8 and how we can possibly use tab charting to replace in NinjaTrader 7 what we would have used as a workspace. Um, what you're looking at in front of you is, a is one of my typical workspaces. Now, it might be a little small, but what you're actually seeing is four different monitors. Each of the top two charts is actually a monitor. The uh, bottom right chart is a monitor. I, I like looking at big charts. I <laughs> Just something about kind of the more I see, the bigger it is, the easier it is for me to see to see things. It, that's beside the point. I'm looking at multi time frames here. I've got a 30 minute chart up in the top left, a 15 minute over on the right, various charts in the bottom left. You see a weekly and a daily. The indicators, uh, I, I use BWAP, volume profile, little supply and demand, support and resistance, draw a lot on my charts. But what is on the charts isn't what's important. What we're looking at is six charts, all from CL, multi time frame from a 30 minute to a 15 to I think there's a five there, a uni Ranko, some larger charts. And this is how I would want to view CL if I was trading it. I want to look at the 30 minute chart see my bigger time frame and then hone down into my smaller charts while still being able to see what's really going on in the larger time frame. Now in NinjaTrader 7 I had a workspace for CL and then I would duplicate that workspace for ES and I would duplicate that workspace for NQ and for all of the instruments that you wanted to see. Now in NinjaTrader 8 they allow us to add a tab to the bottom of each of our windows. We can see that right now each of our tabs are on CL. Well, I've put together an add-on that is very similar to over here on the right. I'm at the top right chart looking at the drop-down list here for interval link or the one right next to it to instrument link. If I set this to red for instrument link and I come over and set this one over here to red. I change this instrument. This chart's going to change to the same instrument. These work great. The problem of it is, is there's nothing built in that says that if I select tab two of this chart for all of the rest of my charts to switch to tab two also. So what I've done is I've put together an add-on. I call it a, an auto tab. It's not an indicator. It's added as an add-on to NinjaTrader 8. Anytime you open a chart, it will automatically put this little icon in the top left-hand corner of your chart. And I, we, we look at the same type of properties that they give us, um, there's three, six, nine, eleven. I believe I give you eleven as well. Um, three, six, nine, eleven. So if I set this chart to red, and I set this chart to red, and I set all of my charts to red, when I click on any particular tab of any of these charts. All of the other charts go to that tab number. Now, these charts down here didn't know that it went to CL or GC. The all of the rest of the charts said it went to the third tab. So you, you do have to arrange each of your instruments and how you want to look at them in order. <clears throat> but now with the case, we click on ES all of our charts go to ES. I can have one workspace and look at all of my charts. 
uh, I've added a timer to this so that I can come over here and select right now it's fixed to one of these selections I'll probably open that up to a, a user parameter in some time in the future but what this will do is I've got this set on let's just set it on 10 seconds and now I'm going to middle click on the button and you'll notice that this little icon here kind of turns darker we'll notice that in 10 seconds that's going to auto tab to the next tab this chart auto tab to this tab which takes all of the rest of the charts to the same tab okay now but I could come over here and selectively change this to a different color and activate that timer. This chart would continue to auto tab through its tabs on whatever the timer is set. I think we set it for 10 seconds. Whereas you see none of the other charts will make that, will make that change. So again, I could, I could change any of them to orange I could change you know I could use multiple colors between them one thing that I do that I should note though is this isn't workspace dependent so if you have mul if you do have multiple workspaces in NinjaTrader 8 as well you would not want to use the same color in one workspace as you did the other because if I change if I'll just change this all back to red the way that that I had it now if I were to change this workspace all of the rest of my charts are going to change if I had other workspaces that were open that had windows with red selected they would change as well I'll probably get around to changing that, but I don't use multiple workspaces anymore. And even if I opened up another one or two, I have more than enough colors, um, you know, to make that not be a problem at all. Okay, uh, there is one other thing I guess I should mention um, that I have noticed, and I am on 8.0.9 of NinjaTrader, that if I select a, another tab, it is possible that it takes a tick in order for the charts to refresh. Now, I know that they said that they fixed, or, or this was in the fixes for this release, but I think there might still be just a little underlying issue it uh, it usually is not any type of problem at all other than you know maybe a, right when the equities close and reopen when there's not especially in an instrument here like uh, natural gas where there's not a lot of activity overnight doesn't matter which chart I come and click on click on ES top right you know, NG, bottom left, right, 60, bottom right. It doesn't matter what chart you do. Now, if we activate the timer, as we talked before, I can't activate the timer of another chart. It won't let me. I, well, I won't let you. You only want one timer of any given color going at any given time. Otherwise, you'll you'll get lost and not know where you're at. What else? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, one more thing. Okay, if I didn't want to link the chart at all, it would be the same thing as we use up here. You know, just no link, no instrument link, no interval link, and that is the default that it will be when it gets applied to your chart. There is a link all button. Now, it's a little different in that if I put this to link all, meaning that if this was red and this was orange and this was purple, 
no matter what color the chart is, if I if I click on another tab, this window is going to follow it, no matter the color. Now it does not work the other way around, and I'm I'm thinking about possibly implementing something like that as well. But right now, if it's black, it's not going to switch on anything other than another black. But any other color will change it. Let's take this back to red and let's make sure that we're all in sync. And I believe that's about it. Um, thank you very much for your time.